Hi everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. All about life. And today I will share with you a tool called the zone. A lot of people have described the zone, they research the zone, but most of what they come up with is a description of it. And a lot of people say it's a flow state. And that's how they describe it, or they describe it as uh, you experience uh, uninhibited performance or amazing performance. I describe the zone as everything is in slow motion, it feels effortless, and time is not a factor. It's, uh, although there, it's not really uh, inhibiting you from your ability to perform in the zone. The beautiful thing about the zone is, is that you can always forward the zone. And that's what I want to talk with you about today with a few examples. And the first example it's just for you to really understand the reason I put this tool together. The reason I put this tool together is to show an individual, to show a family, a team, etc. When I say all about life, what I'm saying is that you can direct your life. You have that capability. However, what's required is the right support system, which is whatever that is for you. And then, secondly, the right help and right advice. And so you need to put some boundaries around who that right support system is. And the reason is, is because that's a support system that's fluid and that's yours. And the people who are on your right support system, they don't necessarily need to know they are a part of your right support system. You just know who those people are. And you may see these people quite often or you might not see them hardly ever. It really doesn't matter. Secondly, and where I'll focus on the most today is asking for or getting the right help or and or the right advice and i want you to think right now about all the times that you received a service or a product and it was the right help what were the commonalities when that happened i started to think about that and these were the commonalities to me and you tell me if this is the commonality for you that's a question that you need to answer the number one commonality was that i was clear on the area that i needed help in and i did my research so that when i did go and ask for the right help or did research to ask for the right help i knew what i was looking for and because i did my research i felt more comfortable with going that route now, there have been times, obviously, where I'm on the side of the road and somebody comes by and uh, I need my car pushed to the side and go with my gut and uh, civility to make sure that uh, this person is really helping and, and uh, we do so and, and they're able to, to uh, help me in whatever way that we can. That's more of a heroic type of help, which obviously any one of us could need at any time. But what I'm talking about is just the right help. So in other words, are you trying to get someone to help you, however, you quite do not know what exactly you're looking for? 
And if that is the situation, my suggestion is for you to do some research so that you're comfortable and realize that someone out there might not have exactly what you think is a solution to that. However, by you engaging, let's say, one, two, three, four, five of those people and really talking with them and, and letting them know your situation, you can determine better whether or not they can help you. So think about that and think of what the commonalities are for you. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people will say they, they will help you and they even might have some knowledge or abilities in the area. However, because you might not be that knowledgeable in that area, then how do you know that they will be able to really understand your situation to give you the right help? That's the key. And the only way that that can happen is if you yourself are able to research what is your situation so that you can better explain it to them so that when they do ask the questions that they ask, you know how to answer them in a way that would actually help them to help you. And that's not easy to do a lot of times because it does take some effort on your part, some intelligence on your part. And a lot of times uh, we do not know from a learned perspective exactly if my air conditioning broke down today. I know some about air conditioning and, and et cetera, and I understand that. And so I would be pretty comfortable and someone would maybe recommend or I'd look online for recommendations and I'd feel pretty good about it. However, if it was a situation where it was something that was completely new to me, I'm finding that by still learning a little bit about it first, I can really go a lot further. And I may even talk with a couple of people to understand what they know about it. So learn how to learn from another person, each other, before I actually go out and talk with someone who can engage me with a service or product. And so really all I'm doing here is I'm telling that individual a better way to help me because I'm able to tell them to help them to help me, help me. So that was one area. The other one is the right advice. Now this is an area that's uh, very specific and it is an area that a lot of people are not comfortable with because for whatever reason, uh, they have not really sought advice. They sought help. However, they haven't sought advice. And seeking advice and getting the right advice can literally make such a significant difference. And it is something that can either rapidly advance you or if it's from someone who you're listening to who's not really the right one to give you the right advice and if you take that advice can put you back years if not decades and uh, that is very very challenging and that's uh, situation that's an arduous situation and so 
think of the times when you had the right advice. What was that like? And I'm sure that when you did have the right advice, it really depended on that individual doing their research ahead of time to really understand what it is that will make you go forward. Now, when they deliver the advice, it doesn't take that long to deliver. However, know that these individuals have either tremendous uh, work in this area or they've had tremendous success or they've just been around this particular situation and therefore you're seeking that advice. So this can look be in the form of mentoring, it can be in the form of the right advice, like an advisor, it can be in the form of and even some teachers actually uh, can really give you some really great advice that can make it a lot easier for you to succeed. And really in anything that you do, you can find individuals like that. However, first you need to be able to filter out who you want to listen to and who you still want to listen to, but uh, you need to filter it because they're putting their bias, their life experiences to it versus you seeking a reliable uh, source who can give you the right help or the right advice. And once you have that source, then for your life, it, it will become a lot easier. And so this is when someone could be, depending upon your situation, uh, it could be a life coach for sure. It could be another type of coach. It could be someone who's on retainer. It could be someone who just evaluates what you do, like a third eye who can just sharpen up anything that you're putting together just with some assistance and make you to think through it a little better. Because what you'll see is that most people who are very, very or extremely successful or have any type of success, I had mentioned the support system, but they have the right help and the right advice. They're actually on a team. No one's just doing everything on their own. I mean, a lot of times it looks like they're doing it on their own and, and yes, I mean, if you're doing something and it's just you doing it, you are doing it on your own, but that is a culmination of you putting your gifts, talents, and skills, the mastery of that towards everything that you learn from other people and then applying that learning and adding your uniqueness to it. And so that's what I wanted to talk with you today about. And what I did is I created a tool because there are so many ways and approaches to doing everything these days. I mean, it's mind boggling. And we just have the fortunate choice of picking the way that we want to do it and learning from the right source for us to do it. And so in my research and study, I hear and see a lot of people talk about the zone. However, I have not come across anyone who has a clear way of being in the zone more often, being in the zone more often. So what I did is with my research and my study is I actually put together what I call a performance process. So this is not something where you can separate the process and then it gives you the performance or it's not where you just look at the performance and its effectiveness and then based on that determine what the process will be this is a combination of both and so it doesn't really matter what industry you're in it doesn't matter what your life situation is right now whether you're 
really successful and you're just wanting more success or you're struggling and, and life seems to just be knocking you back for whatever reason and, and uh, you're thinking you need a change or a positive change but you don't know how to go about it and uh, you know instead of thinking of a positive change uh, because positive change I like yes but you know a lot of people will just say well you need to change well that, that, that that's uh, I think the easy way out I think what you need is you need a better way to forward to go forward and as you do that you will naturally create positive change and so what my performance process tool does is that it shows you why well you know why to get into the zone who doesn't want to perform effortlessly and and uh, it seems that everything is in slow motion and uh, time is not as big of a factor so therefore you don't have stress or anxiety or worry and so i've broken it up into four stages now those four stages are shown separate like this. However, in reality, as you do it over time, it becomes like this and it flows like this. I won't get into the details of those stages, but I want you to go back and look at the visual and apply it to your life. And what is it that you would need to fill in those areas in the zone and for you to go and apply it okay to getting the right help and to getting the right advice how would you use that tool to do that so that when you do go seek that you are able to do that and i know because i have family and friends and and lots of other people in my life uh, they are very quick to give me what they think is the right help answer and the right advice answer. And the reason is, is that they're basing it on the things that they know about me as Raj Gabrola. They are not necessarily basing it on the things that they know about my situation, which is a huge difference. And that's not anyone's fault. It's just that that's their makeup. That's the way they see me. And so that's why I'm encouraging you to be in contact or to reach out or gain some help, the right help and the right advice from someone who is outside of that circle. That's a very important circle. However, that circle a lot of times is not situation dependent and that circle itself has their own wishes dreams for you that uh, are obviously amazing but they're not exactly specific to your situation and so think about that today because a lot of people are, and I don't know why this is, but they're hesitant to go outside of their circle. I don't know if they think that it will look bad upon them or if it will look, um, I don't know. I don't know the reason. But don't be afraid to establish a relationship with someone. Because as you do that research, you will come to basically get to know them and then as you interact and communicate with them you develop and build a, a relationship with them so that they can really give you the right help and the right advice now of course you want to do your research so that you know who you're talking with i would not recommend you just go to someone without doing that regardless of how accomplished or what you've heard of them just because and this person is going to really need to know your situation and uh, know the best way or the right help for you and the right advice for you. 
So that's what I had today is exactly that. Who are you reaching out to for the right help and right advice? And do you know the difference between help and the right help and advice and the right advice? Because that will be huge because the one who's implementing it is you. And you need to be able to be strong enough to really have a conversation with these individuals so that you can really understand it and apply it and make slight adjustments as needed. Because these individuals, they're going to give you the right help or right advice, but you're going to have to ask them the right questions or, or guide them with what it is that you're wanting to occur or happen in the future so that they can steer you that way and so that you can continue to seek either their right help or right advice or once they get you to a specific stage seek someone else's right help and right advice because they fulfill their part of uh, getting you to that stage and so that's just a natural occurrence and that's what was on my mind today about all about life and using my the zone visual and I'll uh, post it and access it but just really think about all the times when the right help just made everything easier the right advice made everything easier and then of course think about those times when it didn't because it wasn't the right help or the right advice and then know what that difference is what were the commonalities in in it being the right help and the right advice and then be able to build upon that so that as you continue to make progress, you'll be more honed and refined in seeking the right help and right advice. I hope you have a meaningful trigger for this evening. I know I do. I'll be working on some storytelling, which I really enjoy from some interviews that I did. And uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing. I will leave you with this one thing that I've been working on. And some of you might be in the medical field or you might be wanting to talk with me or someone else about this. And that is uh, the flow of energy is the zone, which is what I just talked about, the zone. It is homeostasis, which is basically your body being symptom free or everything is in balance in your body from a physiological cellular, neuronal, everything, so that your body is uh, optimal. And that is living well, consistently performing, experiencing intelligent breakthroughs with fulfillment, more ease, fun, and enjoyment. And so when we look at that, when we have that, if you're in the medical field or a researcher or a scientist or just a person who's interested in this, what does flow of energy mean to you in your business, in your field? What does that mean? Okay. And then the zone, we already talked about the zone, my performance process. And that's just basically everything about your greatest dreams, vision, mission, clear goals and aspirations. What's your performance process that you can use over and over? And as you use it over and over, it's ingrained in you so that you don't have to think about it. It's in your consciousness, your subconsciousness. It's part of your being. Uh, it's part of your the relationship with your mood and subconscious. It's part of the relationship with your intrinsic motivation and inspiration, and it's part of your incentive. Okay? That's what I'm saying my the zone visual has because as you do that those will be ingrained in you and you'll continue to apply that with the new thinking the new experiences the new right help the new right advice that you're receiving and the new thinking that you're having because to get to here from here to here you're going to need to be thinking differently. You're going to need to shift as a person. And that's reality. And then the homeostasis obviously is, well, a lot of places are struggling. 
with this, a lot of workplaces, environments, cultures, etc. So if we can keep the flow of energy flowing in the zone more often, then our ability to be well, live well, is much more tremendous. And that is an essential for us. And so a lot of people are wanting to know how to do that. And that's why we have a lot of wellness initiatives. And uh, however, with the wellness initiatives, it's like anything else. We start here and then we realize and we make slight adjustments and, and interventions so that we can continue to progress here. And so that can be done in various ways depending upon an organization. However, with my performance process, that is just something you can just use over and over and over and over because it will, it actually, you input into it, you output from it, and it's all the variables are variable based on your specific situation, regardless of when that time period is. So that's what I had for you today. I know it's a little deeper or higher level thinking because next comes uh, Einstein's theory of relativity and that's E equals MC squared. So if we divide energy by the speed of light squared, that equals mass. So what does that tell you? Okay, so what does that tell you? And there's, I'm working on that and uh, just apply that higher level thinking to what it is that you're trying to do in all about life. I know I have a meaningful trigger today. Well, I already shared that with you. So I'm gonna be doing storytelling. So I hope you have a meaningful trigger today. For those of you at four o'clock, I'll be talking about the zone, which a lot of people know about for athletics because that's where it originated. However, I believe that it needs to be used in the workplace and your family and all aspects of life because the more often you're in the zone, the more that you're going to be able to accomplish without being stressed, having anxiety, having worry, and you'll be able to perform and, and, and do the things that you want to do in an effective, efficient manner so that you actually are experiencing living well, consistently performing, experiencing intelligent breakthroughs with fun, more ease, fulfillment, and enjoyment.